Hi, I am Shahul Hamid, Professor E.C. Sethu Institute of Technology, Kullu Karyapati. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, torque voltage analogy in linear control engineering. Electrical analogous of mechanical rotation systems this is the topic. Now, uh, we are going to discuss about how to map or relate mechanical rotation systems and electrical system. So, analogous elements of torque voltage analogy. Now, first I am going to take a, a dashboard. Input to the dashboard is torque and output is angular velocity. So, this we have already discussed. So, this is mapped using equation torque applied torque is equal to B into d theta by dt. This is rate of change of angular displacement which is equal to B into W. So, this dashboard is equivalent to a resistor, okay, resistor that is uh, here input is voltage source and output is current through the element that is resistor. Here uh, input voltage E is equal to the voltage across the resistor or th uh, across the resistor. So, V is equal to R into I, I is the current through the resistor and E is equal to R into I. So, this is the e e uh, equivalent circuit of uh, mechanical rotation system dashboard. Then when you are, when you are considering mass element, this equivalent, equivalent uh, uh, electrical system is inductance, inductor. So, a voltage source is connected with the inductor and uh, the applied voltage is equal to voltage across the inductor and here input is voltage source and output is current through the element. So, the voltage across the inductor V is equal to L and D i by T t is equal to the applied voltage. <coughs> At the same time, a spring, rotational spring is equivalent to capacitor. So, the uh, equation related to the circuit is E is equal to 1 by C integration I and dt. Okay. It is uh, E is the applied voltage and V is the voltage across the capacitor. So, the applied voltage is equal to voltage across the capacitor. So, V is equal to 1 by C integration I in dt. So, when we are using this equation, we can map like this. So, uh, when we are uh, considering the terms in mechanical rotational system, torque is equivalent to voltage, angular velocity is equal to current, angular displacement is equal to charge, rotational coefficient of uh, dashboard is resistance R. Moment of inertia J is equal to inductance. Stiffness of the spring is inverse of the capacitance 1 by C. Using Newton's second law, sum of applied torque is equal to 0. And here, Kirchhoff's voltage law, sum of voltage, sum of voltage in the circuit is equal to 0. At the same time, we need to know uh, torque current analogy. Here uh, in mechanical rotation system, input is torque and the output is angular velocity. Here in uh, electrical system, input is current source and the output is voltage across the element. So, so dashboard is equivalent to again resistor and here source is current source. I is equal to the equation related to uh, uh, this electrical system is I is equal to 1 by R in the V. 1 by R is nothing but reciprocal of uh, resistor or conductance. Okay. And here uh, 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 spring is equivalent to uh, inductance. Okay. And uh, uh, equation related to this electrical circuit is I is equal to 1 by L integration V in the dt. The same time a mass element is equivalent to capacitor okay capacitor and the corresponding equation is i is equal to c in the dv by that is state of change of 
voltage so in in all these things input is current okay input is current and output is voltage across the element there are three elements resistor that is equal and equivalent to uh, dashboard uh, spring is equivalent to inductance inductance and the amount of energy is equal to the capacitor so using this basic information we are going to solve the problem okay and uh, the 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 terms related to electrical um, uh, uh, electrical analog system is electric uh, volt current torque current torque current analog is torque is equal to uh, current angular velocity is equal to voltage angular displacement is flux rotational friction coefficient is conductance moment of inertia is capacitance and stiffness of the spring is inverse of uh, induct inductor and uh, newton's second law sum of applied torque is equal to zero here sum of applied sum of current in the node is equal to zero based on this we are going to solve one problem first i'll read the problem write the differential equation governing the mechanical rotational system shown in figure then draw the torque voltage and torque current and electrical analog circuits and verify by writing mesh and node equation this uh, problem we are going to solve only torque voltage analogy from that you can easily model torque current okay so first we will see the problem here you can see um, there are two um, uh, mass element so moment of inertia of first one is j1 and second one is j2 and two two springs are there one spring is connected in between first uh, mass element and second mass element and another spring is connected with the reference and uh, friction between the reference and the dashboard uh, and the j1 that is mass element is b1 and uh, second mass element friction between the reference is b2 and torque is applied on the first mass element t so this is the setup and uh, and uh, displacement we are going to re uh, regard uh, re displacement with respect to uh, j1 that is theta1 and this one is theta2 okay with this base element base we are going to solve this problem so we have uh, two elements so two nodes j1 and j2 first we will discuss about j1 in j1 there is only one uh, torque is applied that is t1 is up t is applied because of that uh, the mass element is rotating the angle displacement is theta 1 and here opposing force this is the applied torque and opposing torque are related to the mass element this tj1 because of the uh, friction between reference and the mass element is tb1 and uh, the opposing torque related to the spring is TK1. The spring is connected in between J1 and J2. So we have to consider theta1 and theta2. So the differential equation governing to all these opposing forces are TJ1 is J1 and D square theta1 by the D square. D B1 T B1 is equal to B1 into D theta 1 by dt and, and T K1 is equal to K1 into theta 1 minus theta 2. By using Newton's second law, applied torque is equal to opposing torque. So sum of opposing torque. So T J1 plus T B1 plus T K1 is equal to T. So I am going to substitute all the values. In this equation, we get this one, this one, this one, and this. Okay, this is actually we are going to consider this is first equation. Now, second node, second node is J2. Here, the, uh, there are there is no applied torque, and all are opposing torque, opposing torque, which is related to K1, K2, and B2. <coughs> 
and the angular displacement which is equal to j2 is theta 2. So uh, this is this is the mass element j2 and uh, here we are we have we have mentioned theta 2 that is angular displacement and the opposing force there are four of four opposing force first one is related to the mass element second one is related to uh, dash part that is friction between the reference and uh, uh, reference and the moment of inertia the mass element tk1 tk1 and tk2 tk2 is Related to the spring which is connected with the reference and TK1 which is related to uh, spring torque related to torque uh, opposing torque related to the spring K1 which is connected between J1 and the J2. Here we need to consider two displacements, uh, display, the, the subtraction of uh, difference between displacement with respect to J2 and the displacement with respect to J1 that is theta 2 minus theta 1. So the differential equation which is related to all these opposing forces are given here j tj2 is equal to j2 into d square theta 2 by dt square db2 is equal to b2 into d theta 2 by dt tk2 is equal to k2 into theta 2 tk1 is equal to k1 into t, theta 2 minus theta 1. Now using uh, Newton's second law sum of forces acting on the node is equal to zero sum of force acting force or torque applied applied uh, torque applied uh, acting on the node is equal to zero so uh, the sum sum of torque so tj2 plus tb2 plus tk2 plus tk1 is equal to zero i'm simply substituting the value of uh, all these uh, torque opposing torque so I get t j2 d square theta 2 by dt square plus b2 d theta 2 by dt plus k2 theta 2 plus k1 theta 2 minus theta 1 is equal to 0. This is I am considering equation 2. Now uh, we need to substitute, okay, we need to substitute. Uh, um, this this one that is uh, angular displacement is equal to rate of change of uh, let uh, d square theta by dt square is equal to d omega by dt this is angular velocity so simply we are going to replace uh, angular displacement with velocity omega is the angular velocity and d theta by dt is equal to angular velocity omega and theta is equal to integration omega into dt so I'm, we are going to substitute the, this information in the equation in equation 1 and 2 so first equation j1 and d square theta 1 by dt square so we are going to rewrite this as j1 and d omega 1 by dt plus b1 into this is equivalent to omega 1 plus k1 into integration omega 1 minus omega 2 is equal to t and equation 2 j2 into d square theta 2 by dt square is equal to j2 into d omega 2 by dt and b2 simply i am just replacing um, theta by omega using the above assumption I get b2 omega 2 plus k2 into integration omega 2 into dt plus k1 into integration omega 2 minus omega 1 dt is equal to 0. Now we are going to map uh, the torque and voltage parameters here the applied torque is equal to the applied voltage angular velocity omega 1 is equal to current i1 omega 2 is equal to i2 moment of inertia j1 is equal to l1 j2 is equal to l2 dash uh, friction constant b1 is equal to r1 and b2 is equal to r2 k1 is equal to 1 by c1 and k2 is equal to 1 by c2 so we are going to substitute the uh, we are going to replace or change it change um, uh, mechanical uh, parameters into electrical parameters so this is the relation so this is the relation 
and mapping and uh, using this we are going to replace everything so j1 is equal to l1 d square theta 1 by d d square is equal to d i1 by d t b1 is equal to r1 and d theta 1 by d t is equal to i1 and 1 by c1 integration i1 minus i2 into d t is equal to e of t so this is first equation electrical equation the second one is j2 l2 b2 r2 k2 1 by c2 k1 1 by c1 and the rest the thing so you get a second equation that is l2 into d i2 by dt plus r2 i i2 plus 1 by c2 integration i2 dt plus 1 by c1 integration i2 minus i1 into dt is equal to 0. Now we have to draw the circuit for the first and second equation first first equation so this is the first equation in this equation we have uh, so in this first equation we have an inductor resistor and capacitor all are connected in series but the capacitors in between the first loop and the second loop because as 1 by c1 and i1 minus i2 i1 is the first loop current and i2 is the second loop current so i'm starting is equal to a voltage source e of t so uh, i'm starting with a voltage source e of t okay e of t then next one is the inductor then capacitor and i'm going to consider a cap uh, inductor resistor this one second one is resistor third one is capacitor and i'm going to put this capacitor in between loop one and loop two and when you are seeing second equation there is no voltage source is connected so we have only one common and is common to loop one and loop two that is one by c1 i2 minus i1 so this is a capacitor and all are connected in series one is an inductor a resistor and another capacitor so now here uh, these two capacitors these two are common so i'm simply joining and i'm going to build a equivalent circuit for a given mechanical rotation system and this is the uh, equivalent circuit for mechanical rotational system okay system systems okay thank you thank you very much